Hey, Lois, remember that time I went to the White House? Ah, freaking sweet. I'm at the fucking White House. In White House, in Washington, in fucking uh, Oregon. I'm fucking retarded, get the joke. <laughs> hey, Peter. Peter Griffith, I love your show. <laughs> I was wondering if you would like to eat some Nike D's, some McDonald's with me. I'd, I'd freaking love to, Donald Trump. Let's have some freaking, freaking wait a minute. Wait a minute, you say McDonald's? Yes, I love McDonald's. They're the only restaurant I eat from. Absolutely terrific, terrific food. Donald, I was aware it was common knowledge that I only eat Burger King. Uh, w uh, what? I'm a Burger King supremacist. Do not push your fascist McDonald's ideologies onto my stomach. Hey, how about I push this fucking brew out of your stomach, you fucking lad ass? I invite you in here. I, I give you my best food. I paid with my own wallet. My own money went to this lunch. And you just shove it back in my face. Oh, uh, yeah? Wanna take it outside? Uh, uh, I think I do. Yeah, let's fucking go. One, two. Fucking one, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it. Bring it. Hey, come in. Let's fucking go. Let's, let's fucking, let's fucking do it. Roadhouse style. Like, uh, like, uh, you know, that, that, that movie where they fight, like, they live, where, um, are you aware that, uh, that guy, the main guy in They Live was a wrestler? He was, uh, actually a wrestler? I don't know if the Predator guy was a wrestler. I, uh, he's a good actor, but I, I don't know if he's a wrestler. But, um, yeah, the main guy was a wrestler. I can't remember his name, but, you know, he had the blonde mullet. It was a really good fight scene. I think the subtlety of it was there was no dialogue. There's no quips. And that's the problem with uh, modern modern movies, is you know you can't have a punch without a quip, and also fucking fast camera effects like back and forth, you know, like uh, Born. Watch the fucking Born movies. It's just like that kind of shit where it's like a, a take every fucking half a second. Like how the fuck can I even telegraph the punches? How can I can't even see what's going on here. But you know, they live. Uh, the hitch felt pretty real, you know. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, you know, I don't actually like They Live. Oh, yeah? Why is that? It, it, uh, it insists upon itself. It insists upon itself, Peter. That's what it does, okay? That's all it does. Yeah, fuck you. I love, I love They Live. Fucking soundtrack by John Carpenter. Fucking sweet. <laughs> okay, you're going down, punk. Uh, oh my god, it's fucking... Oh my god, it's drunk! It's fucking drunk! Again, it's fucking drunk! I'm gonna fucking kill him! I fucking... I'm sick of it! Every fucking night, going to those fucking retarded fucking West Coast liberals coming in and laughing at my fucking cheap jokes! I wanna kill myself! Arr, fucking... I fucking want to kill myself. I wish I was doing the Colbert Report and fucking Harvey Birdman back when I was funny, but no, now I have to fucking do Bronx jokes. So I'm going to kill you. I'm going to fucking kill you, Cheeto Hitler. Take it down, boys. Yo, get out of the fucking crowd. Get out of the fucking crowd. Uh, what a shame, Mr. Colbert. I loved your show, The Colbert Report. I, I, I'm not a big fan of the late show. Uh, you seem to be playing a pretty, pretty obnoxious character in that one. Uh, even, even for me. Ah, fuck you. Fuck you, drunk. Uh, you can kill me, but my fans, uh, my fans are gonna, are gonna come after you. Uh, well, uh, I'm not gonna kill you. I'm gonna throw you in Guantanamo Bay, which, by the way, Barack Obama did not close, uh, Guantanamo Bay. Okay, that is, uh, public record. He did not. He said, two elections, he said, he's gonna, two elections, he said, he's gonna close Gitmo. Did he? No. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to close it uh, because you know uh, it's it's no one's no one's talked about it for uh, five years. Not, not even Bill Maher talks about it. Not even fucking Bill Maher talks. About it. What the fuck? What what is this? This isn't even like this is even shit post here. This is more kind of arbitrary references to real life, you know, and not even like funny like. Oh, yeah, Sarah Jessica, Jessica Parker looks like a fucking horse. Like, this is kind of more avant-garde, very opinionated, uh, uh, you know, observation you got going here. Mm. 
you know, uh, what we been to be fighting? And I don't even, I don't even really care anymore. I find this whole thing boring and pedantic. Uh, who? I just want to kind of get in the mindset of people who watch the Super Bowl, unironically. Like, who the fuck actually watches the Super Bowl and, like, thinks, Oh, wow, this is great! <laughs> like, seriously, um, Gridiron is, like, shit tier on the entertainment sport list. Like, it is absolutely fucking shit tier. T uh, God tier would have to be Australian rules football, uh, because there it's, it's actually athletic ability. You have speed, you have strength, you have, you know, it's just a really fast paced game and there's a lot of variability, whether as, um, gridiron and, and rugby in general is just on a fucking 2D plane. It's like back and forth, back and forth, whistle, fucking stop, fucking take a kick, fucking take a throw, fucking Tom Brady, fucking fuck my wife, fucking, you know. It's just dumb. Oh, I just don't get it. And I, I just try and be a spectator on this kind of stuff. I don't like to, uh, say that, you know. Entertainment is subjective, I get that, and I know that every sport, I mean, as long as it has rules, there can be entertainment to ride from, but I think the, um, the actual uh, enjoyment of sport kind of boils down to gladiatorial, like, brute strength or, you know, brute skill, and I don't see a lot of skill in the grid I just see fat people running at each other, so if I wanted to see fat people running at each other, I'd just watch the, those Black Friday YouTube compilations. Uh, or, for that matter, any American political discourse in the public space, fuck people running at each other. That's all NFL is. It's a fucking hack sport. And there's so many fucking teams. There's like 32 teams. How the fuck are you meant to keep track of all these fucking teams? America is too big, all right? You know who really lost the American Civil War? The sports fans, all right? Because if America had split into two countries uh, at that moment, uh, then you would have had two different NFL leagues. Uh, I know there were, but in, in that case, people would choose the better one, and um, also not have to have to crawl as many team fucking logos and songs with their little tiny American brains. What really pisses me off is people that watch the Super Bowl exclusively, like, um, yeah, I only watch the Super Bowl, you know, I'm not an NFL fan, but I'll watch the Super Bowl, I like a, I like a good fucking cup of Super Bowl, a good cup of shit, one cup of shit per year, please, just one, just one cup, and it's just like retarded, and most of it is like, it's either to, to have something to talk about at the water cooler, or even worse, it's for the fucking commercials, for the fucking Super Bowl commercials, Everyone knows that the Super Bowl is the most watched uh, television event in America. Every year, it's been that way for like 20 years. It's got an infamous uh, reputation of, uh, you know, costing a lot of money for airtime. So companies put a lot of money and, uh, into the ads that they run and they're generally exclusive kind of publicity stunts. So yeah, uh, some of them are entertaining, like that Danny DeVere Eminem ad. I mean... <laughs> Fucking hilarious, fucking LL, fucking XD. But I'm not gonna fucking look up every single fucking Super Bowl ad and fucking watch them because I don't enjoy commercials. Okay? Fucking literal NPCs tune in to the Super Bowl to see if. Is there gonna be a Star Wars 9 TV spot? Is there gonna be a Star Wars 9 TV spot?